Antea! Please tell me who to you. There you are. Ready to go. I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You are not alone. Can we go now? How come it's not working? Let's ask Seeker. This all has to end, and I'd rather it was sooner than later. I am doing my best, my love. There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. Oh, is he there? This will only take a moment. Ah. Well, throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. The spell isn't working. I think she's gone. Still no ghostly spectral spiders hiding away in there, now. Strange how I barely knew Ceridian, yet feel like I've lost someone deeply important. Is there a letter from Deborah Comenius here? And who's Grace? No way back to New Eden Town, and no Seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace, and where to find her.
Oh, manual on how to hide from men. Wish I had one. How can she find anything in this mess? We're wasting time. Let's go. Shall we dance then? This is getting serious. Spirit chases were working, we wouldn't have specters. I'd stay to figure it out, but we need to see Kate. how good we are together yeah it's always good to hear Backed by the Banishers, Helen Priest dethroned Captain Pennington. His dark truths were unearthed. Some secrets remain buried. The survivors must now set aside old sins and build themselves lives worth living. But can Helen Priest lead them into the future, chained as she is to her past? I get the feeling folk are preparing to leave. Haunted house. Shall we?
Red McWraith. I didn't expect you back. I'm working my way back to New Eden Town. There, you're on your own. I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. So, I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious. I'll give you that. But must you push so? Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? What happened to Grace? I don't know that either. There had been strife with her father. Then she was gone. And the captain spoke of her no more. Deborah wrote the letter in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Could Grace have survived alone out here in the woods? Possibly. But could she remain unseen? No. All thought she'd left New Eden. Gone west, perhaps, into the wilds. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods. Trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here. Southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. The settlement seems to be doing well with you in charge. We've made some gains, but we're far from ready to leave. Did you tell them what Thick Skin did? I told them she died hunting the beast. Some are yet in their sullens, but they're better with sleep now the nightmares have stopped. Perhaps them not knowing is for the best. If we are to keep our chins up and leave for good, better they stay in the dark. Still, some troubles yet vex. The bodies of the lost are buried, many without names, but we found tracks. They lead away, into the woods. Some may have escaped. I need to know for sure. If they're alive, you mean? Yes. And if they're dead, that they won't be coming back. We need no more beasts. A new scourge is always possible, but very unlikely without the Nightmare's influence. Probably best to confirm, eh? Thank you. I followed the tracks as far as I could from the killing ground. I left a red flag as a marker. From there, I ventured no further. Do you wish to talk about what happened with the beast? You killed my sister. I have nothing more to say to you. Thick Skin did what she did, and you were as horrified as I was. I laid the blame where it belonged. You executed her? Yes, I did. I know it seemed cruel. I contend that it was necessary. Or seemed so at the time. Sometimes, Banisher. I wonder if we did not exchange one monster for another. I'm sorry to bring this up, but your sister owed me money. So? I did my part. As the new leader of the camp, the debt falls on you. Let me be sure I understand. You killed my sister, and now you're asking me for payment. Well, when you put it like that, never mind, forget it. I'll try. 
What's new around here? I have no time for gossip. Now that you're in charge, what's the plan? We finish what we started. We find the strength to leave New Eden forever. But not yet. They still have too much fear in their hearts, and not enough hope. The region is still dangerous. They may never find the courage they need to leave it. How fear the people round here? We're not out of the woods yet. You'll excuse the pun. Goodbye to you for now, Kate. Oh, damn this to hell. Just our luck that when we need Seeker the most, she disappears. I still don't understand why the ritual failed. Let's just find the hut. Never learn, do they? Symbols. The hut may be near. I sense magic. Could Seeker be here? There is foul and foul is fair. There is a lot of fog down there. Follow my lead.
Not hard enough. be a coincidence. Could Grace be Seeker? Dusty. Seeker hasn't been here for a long time. Anyone home? Right there. Fall from grace. That's not funny. And neither is this. Aye. Fair enough. More demonology. Unusual for a witch. These two schools of magic don't usually see eye to eye. Perhaps Lamy could help us with the spell. Debra knew about this place. Focus on the matter at hand, Red. I am. Fine wardrobe for a youngster. They're rags. And they won't help us find her, aye. You need to see this. Now we know. She's in the mountains. There's a ritual of dissimulation, and we need the catalyst. The circle powers the door, but I don't know the symbol. I don't know it, but I think Lamy might. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell. And Lammy Haskell will help us with that. Uh, sure.
whatever it is, out with it. Oh, now what I say is worth listening to. Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. We need to get this right. We cannot afford to fail. We won't fail if you stop dragging your feet. No governor, no meeting house, and it seems no faith. Sounds like Cotto has trouble at the map. Someone is vexed behind that door. And well, ho there! What a pleasant surprise! I was fair and sure that I'd never see you again. Very often. Mm. Far away, God willing. Build bridges, say the wise, that people may better understand each other. Build a jetty, say I, so that a ship may come and we can leave. New Eden is a fascinating study for you and I. But for ordinary folk, it is, as I've heard it put, a shite hole. Leaving sounds right to me, if these people learn from their mistakes. They repent, Mistress Duarte. A new start elsewhere, away from the place in which they sinned, will do them good. Spoken like a leader. I fear, however, that not everyone shall listen. I fear what shall befall them if they stay behind. We found a page ripped from a book. 
You do you recognise him? Well, let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildewed page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, not done. We know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker... Is she Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend. Your only friend. Well, you see... Some weeks later, the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down, and Grace was better off out of it. I was right. And I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh, my. What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Araloo. In the void. That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defence, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park, comparatively speaking. <laughs> we overheard you. What are you working on? I, to my horror, am working on a speech. It's... Well, it's terrible. I don't even know where to start. I'd speak of past mistakes, and how they show you the way to a better future. That might just work. Thank you! Are things that bad? Tell the truth, I don't rightly know. They don't trust me. They tell me nothing, and when they do, they're probably lying. And without the wards... Well... I fear things will get worse before they get better. In fact, they already have. Spectres walk, and we are in need of a banisher. Or two. If you can bring people peace... Well, I doubt they'll be grateful. But perhaps they should have the strength to believe in a brighter future. So, Lammy, what's the word around here? What do you wish to know? Tell me about the settlers. Anything strange to mention? Stranger than usual, I mean. Folk have been quite lovely as it happens. Each tries to do their best and spirits are high. Thinking about it, that's actually really strange. Really strange indeed. 
What about you, Lammy? How are you? I'm well. Or as well as I could wish for. But I still have questions for you, mistress. We have time for one or two. I've seen how you move. Do time and space work differently for you? Not so much when I'm with the living. But yes, they're different. May I ask another? Yes, you may. And what do you miss from being alive? A big question. Too big to answer. Where would I start? I miss... all of it. May I ask another? Let's leave it there. How fares New Eden and the Harrows? It's not easy. I don't have my father's authority and people fear evil more than ever. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we find her, we'll be glad to tell her. More work to do. A new building needs a solid foundation. I wonder if ghosts still linger. Go on then. Talk to me. I'm all back. You act as though all is well. As though I had not died. I'm dead. And I'm not alright. I'm not alright at all. But you pretend not to see it. That makes me angry. And it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know, but it still felt that way.
Watch out! Spectre possession! Look to me! Is that the sound of a cop stalking a gun? I'm right here, you know. Is it just me, you? I felt it too. Shelter, if you need a fire to warm you up. The incarnate is hidden away here. Stains bar the path. Can't hide now. The heart's yours. The roots are mine.
Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. Your death left me desolate. I knew in my heart that it should have been me. Then you came back. I snatched at a chance to undo what had been done. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. I've just tried to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. This looks like Lamy's stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. Spot has to be close.
you hear that? First things first, Red. Fancy a race? Get back up! Crows answer his call! This isn't over yet. Don't just stand there. Move. Can I join in too? Look to me. Where do you think you're going? going all out. Watch out! We made it angry. Hugging all the fun.
This is locked from the inside. Don't let that specter get to the corpse. Run, Red! Ask for help if you need it. Up there. If you need a breather, we can do it here. This is it. Seeker is behind this wall. Let the veil of unknowing be lifted. Let us see through the eyes of Grace Pennington. Surprisingly slow, even for a banisher. You're late. Or early. At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. You always think you have more time. And suddenly, you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so. But don't think you have it all figured out. 
You're still banishers, after all. We are indeed, Grace. So, you know. I know you're Pennington's daughter. Still, can I see the family resemblance? In the end, neither could he. I must have hurt. Does it matter now? The captain is no more, and till the end, so was his daughter. I defied him. I sought forbidden knowledge and stepped beyond the boundaries. At the end of that most painful of journeys, Grace was dead. And Seeker was born. Yes, it hurt. But it was worth it. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept. I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? The time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the nightmare. Yes. Balance must be restored. You must face your fate and end the curse. Ceridian said the only way back was through the void. But the pond seems broken. We need your help. Of course you do. We're listening. Remember Ceridian's words. If you were to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This void breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, the Void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the Void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. We looked for you everywhere. Why did you leave the Maya Marshes? I needed time. Silence. We own space. Hidden away behind Lamy Haskell's dissimulation spell. Oh. You know about that. It held a full seven years. Isn't that impressive? This is the place where I embrace solitude. This is where I made it a strength. Did Ceridian find you here? Not physically. I dreamed of her. I dreamed of the Maya Marshes. So, I went there. And I found the island. Quite the thing. Meet your dream in person. I suppose so. At the time, I was more focused on the fun I'd had getting to the island. Also? Our first dance. I admit I ran away. But we have danced many times since then, old moss and Ceridian and me. You learned magic by yourself? Not really. Not at all. First, Lammy Haskell's forbidden books told me that magic was real. They say you must look out for the quiet kids. And that was me and Lammy. Reading those books opened my eyes to worlds of wonder. But I did not learn witchcraft until Ceridian found me. Lammy showed me the view from the prison window, but my mistress walked me right out the door. Lammy was relieved to hear you well. He talked about paying you a visit. When I was exiled, he was the only one who'd help. Sweet boy. But now is not the time for visitors. Later, perhaps. Later, when you have lifted the curse. The boy will be disappointed. He has a thing for witchery.
with that, we'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear, especially when it's me saying it. On the contrary. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best. What's that? That is not your... I like the new place a lot better than the old one. I was a different person then. This will be useful. She's the custodian now. May she have all the wisdom of her mentor and more. I wish I had half the. Wisdom of mine. You're not as stupid as you sound. You'll be fine. To the breach we go. In the fields outside Havana, the air is thick and hot this time of year. Downpour lasts for days. I used to lie on the grass, face to the sky, and let the rain wash over me. I'd come home soaked through, smelling of salt and dirt, and drove my mother insane. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I miss it. I miss home. What do you miss? I miss our house. It was ever full. By day, the sick seeking my mother's cures. By night, our friends and neighbors for food and hot debate. We did not have much, but any who came hungry would be fed. My father was known for his ngombo. I miss it. And I miss the warm, clear sea. I don't know. I think. Maybe it would be nice to go back, for a little while. He told me you weren't one to put down roots. Maybe I could with you. I think I'd like that. I think I'd like that too. Thank you. For standing by my side through it all. For everything. Into the fray then. Always.
What is it? Baggage I may need to finally face. Let's press on. Stay watchful. Spectres are still drawn to you. Oh, brilliant. You chose the schoolhouse too. Of course. Our last night together. I knew it. And now the question is, how do we reach it? I like your doll. What are you doing? This is Aleja. She is a witch, and she is running away from the Spanish soldiers. She had a horse, but he died. He was an old friend. Maybe we can build her a Patience, Antea. You know that we have to be twice as good as them to get half of what they have. <sighs> I can't stand anymore. Our memories from my childhood. But why here? They never learn, do they? Follow my voice. Hugging all the fun. Over there, a passageway. The paths form and reform. Your passageway's already gone. This place has a plan for us, and I suspect we may not like it. It's just us here, Antea. Damn it! The void centers in on us. Perhaps you've been thinking about your past and memories are manifesting. Or the other way around.
again to this one. Change targets. Tormented first. This one's protected. Quicken yourself. Ready and waiting. <laughs> Rory, tell me. Calendre is here. Your childhood friend is here. What passed for my friend? Right. We leave now. You explain later. I need a better angle. Careful, Red. It's close. Wants us to feel powerless. <laughs> I'll feast on your soul. You won once. Never again. Never again. Come and play, Andrea. You will never leave this place. You can't go around the fire? Oh, you can be all alone. No one to play with. No one to talk to. Poor little Antea. Gifted and talented. Constricted. Bound. Abandoned. Go to hell.
Look at you dead. Vain and foolish. And oh, the killing he has done for you. You're a poison to the goodness of your man's heart. This thing was never human, Red. Don't indulge it. Have you forgotten, Red? Just who you are? Damn you. You want to play, Calendre? Fine. Let's play. At last you visit Calendre. Your bestest friend. We are not friends. And your name is not Calendre. <laughs> Perhaps I should name myself by what called me to you. Your weariness? Your solitude? <laughs> your arrogance? You cannot play your own tricks with me, Calendre. I am stronger now. So much stronger. <laughs> Bold of you to claim for a very dead banisher. I was a little girl when we met. You used me, manipulated me, and made me believe that was love. However arrogant, however angry I was, you changed me, disfigured me. I abandoned my home, I fled from everything and everyone. I thought I had to be alone so that you could never happen again. For that, I forgive myself. But you, Calendre, no. You I do not forgive. <laughs> what will you do when you have sacrificed your lover's conscience so to reclaim your body? Will you forgive yourself then? The souls we banish end up in the void. I know this now. I pity them. I pity you. I may have needed you then, but I don't need you now. Not for my own closure. Not for anything. Antea, Antea. Such a clever girl. So good with words of power. Is that how you seduced your little pet here? And I am the relentless servant of the Queen of Kerr. The hell? Come, stay a while, stay forever. Game to end.
This is my
this is something. I never told you the full story. I'm sorry. No need. Please, let's get out of here. Onwards. There's no more time to lose. Is the entire town lost to Ivy? Her influence must still be strong. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. We really had no idea what we were walking into. You died. His eye was arrogant. I did. And you were. The heart's yours. The roots are mine. This isn't over yet. Watch out. Inspect the position. Possession incoming. Quicken yourself.
on the sanctity of marriage. A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open-minded as Charles. I miss us. We'll soon be back. Back together. Always. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Lesser palingenesis ritual. I've never done it. This is an odd kind of homecoming. Tis strange to be back. Tis strange to sleep near the place where you died. Still, rest you should. You'll need it. And you can't bathe twice in the same river. It's not the same river and you're not the same man. And yet nothing shall ever be the same again. Aye. You'll come back changed. And you'll come back to find that I am changed. Of course we'll have changed. But we'll be alive, with a lifetime of changing stretching out before us. And we'll be together. For better or worse. Since we returned to New Eden, I've felt like something's on your mind. What are you not telling me? That night in this room, I asked you for caution. I worried you'd act rashly and you promised me you would not. Then you did it anyway. I thought you'd gone to the meeting house without me. I died to save you. Is that why your ghost returned? Is that why you stayed? Yes, I stayed because I was angry. Angry with you. I think I've known that for a while now. The anger lingers. Part of me resents you yet. For my pain and my fear. For my suffering. For my dying. I resent you. Taya, I am truly sorry. I know you are. But soon, I'll be back. Then we'll both bathe in this new river, together.
It is time. What if we... What if I fail once more? One wrong choice will exact a heavy price. Whatever happens, we will face it. For better or worse. Watch out! Spectre position! That Spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Once I bruised the hut, she won't let us in so easily. A few roots will not stop us. Good money. New Eden suffers. We suffer. My friends, I have disturbing news. Among us walks a witch. Is that not so? Deborah Comenius. Lock her up. No! No! Tis not true! I am no witch! So that's how it all began. Aye. With ordinary evil from the hearts of fearful men. Deborah Comenius, this court finds you guilty of the devil's work. Guided by God's mercy, I pass sentence on the witch. Pain forted you. Confess and name your accomplices or die for your sins. I have nothing to confess. Not a soul stood or spoke for her. There's no justice here. It's a travesty.
Confess, witch. None stand for you. Your coven has betrayed you. Name them, and you shall live. I am no witch. You know this. All of you. Do not turn away from me. You must release me. You must. Will no one speak for me? Anyone? Please, help me. Help me! I feel her distress. Her rising terror. Her dark despair. She suffered enough. And so have we. Here, my body, my flesh displayed like a trophy. More like bait. So, the circle is complete. Do you return to the beginning? Or is it the beginning of your return? A paradox. How clever. How it pleases you to play with time. I do not play. Deborah, we know what happened to you. We know what they did to you. What they did. What they do. I shatter yet. We're not here to hurt you. You have my body and I want it back. That's all. Help us. Because we can help you. No, you cannot.
enough. You are me. Yet you oppose me. They murdered us! Make them pay. No. They do not deserve our rage, not these two. All oh, deserve our wrath. They crushed the breath from us. You know this. You asked for this. It's over. You have been heard. The truth is out. No! Come back! Feed upon the pain, the treachery, the outrage! No more. It hurts. <sighs> Behold my wrath! They will subdue you once more! Monster. Don't give it to them. No one stood for us. They tortured us. Kill us. I just want to be. I... Ah! 
Enough pain now. There must be a reckoning. The pain may end right now. The reckoning is here. Spare me your compassion, for it comes far too late. Who are you? I am retribution. A word. An idea. But who are you? I am her fury. No longer. I am their nightmare! You were. You believe you've won? It will not be so easy. For I will mute your dreams. Is that an end to it? Yes. If you want it to be. Are you sure? In your hand, you weigh my death. The last stone laid upon my broken body. I'm so very sorry. Will you leave? Are you ready? I have lingered so very long. Where now will I go? I don't know. A better place, I believe. A quiet place. Quiet is good. Deborah Comenius, mere words can ill describe your suffering. And if they could, I'd not utter them now. Enough wrong has been done you. Your tale is told, and we thank you for it. You are hurt, and free to go.
Hey, I'm right here. Aye, you are. It's time for the Lesser Palingenesis. Time to bring you home. From flesh to word, word to heart. From flesh to word, word to heart. Air to fire, fire to earth. I'm hollowing, it's working. Air to fire, fire to earth. Ending to beginning, indivisible. Death to the living, life to the dead. Ending to beginning, indivisible. Death to the living, life to the dead. Antea. Antea! Liar. What? You swore on it, Ruri McGraith. You swore you'd bring me back. Step away, Banisher. That's not Antea. Hold. At our first meeting, I took your measure. I found you wanting. How I was right. What the hell? Where's Antea? You have failed her. Again. Deborah! Enough games. Let them go. Let us go. Hush, child! Uh. The adults are talking. No! Leave her! She's innocent! Innocence is another name for buried guilt. She's not done with us. Not by a long way. Not for a long time. Find me. Find us. Betrayer, oathbreaker, rat! You forsook your one true love! This you deserve a reward. The same reward. Over and over! No! Let her go! Please! Let her go! I beg you, no! Take me instead! Let her go! Cowardice, anger, treachery. This and more is the stuff of our tragedy. Zealotry, ignorance, hubris. The list of human failings is endless, and in this fertile soil grows all of our miseries. Though Antea and Red won many battles against a devious and relentless foe, right now, the war seems lost, for a nightmare is born of the darkest injustice and will brook no mercy. But hope remains. The curse may yet be lifted. Some brave soul may yet defy the nightmare that once was Deborah Comenius. In the meeting house in New Eden, she awaits their return. Ah, you're awake. Who are you? 